Hello beautiful hearts, welcome or welcome back. So today's reading is going to be all about who has a crush on you and just any other information that comes through around the connection or maybe what's drawing them to you. We're going to dive in and just ask who is this person and um, just any information about the connection, okay? So we'll keep it very open as we often do. All right, so I've got three poles here, and for pole one, you have got the Sunflower Fields Tarot with this beautiful piece of jet. Jet is super light for those of you who haven't held it. It is a beautiful stone, or actually it's wood, I believe, that looks like a stone, and it's paired with this Sunflower Fields Tarot. So if you're drawn there, you are pile one. For pile two, let's hope I pronounce this okay. I always worry when I say it because I don't feel like I do pronounce it well. But the Tarot de la Nui. And with this beautiful deck, we have the Moonstone. And of course, we have to pair the Moon with the Night. So let's pop that on this deck here. You might be drawn to the stone or the deck. And for pile three, this beautiful picture, um, picture jasper. I love the patterns on this one. And it's paired with the new Babylonian. So three piles here. Take as long as you need to select your pile. You can pause the video here if that's helpful to you. And I always say at this point, here comes my broken record bit for those of you who have been here before but it is important to just say for anyone who's new or who um, you know is watching tarot for the first time that it's so important to only take the messages in these readings that resonate with you and your own intuition because they are general readings they will bring through different messages for different people so if anything feels like it needs to be moved around to fit your situation or it doesn't feel right or it feels off in any way they're all really good signs that it's not your message or it's not your message right now um, you should be leaving this reading feeling like you have clarity and feeling positive because when a reading resonates that's how it feels if it's not feeling like that the message is are not resonating that's okay it might not be your your reading or I might not be the reader for you that's okay whatever feels right to you is the right thing always trust yourself over and above any um, reading all right let's move forward now into our first pile I'm sending you lots of love as we travel into this one for pile one we're going to put your jet over here and let's start shuffling in your cards For pile one, please, Spirit, show me for pile one. Who is having a crush on our beautiful pile ones? We're going to go seven of these. I don't even feel like speeding you guys up today. I just think I'll just keep shuffling and mm, too many. Okay, let's have a look, pile one. First card, we have got the five of wands. Then we have got the two of swords. The ace of coins. The emperor. I'm going to move this down here now. Hopefully this will be... Able to be seen on the screen. Strength, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. All right. Hmm. The first feeling that I'm getting from these cards, Pile 2, is that this may be someone who is 
battling with themselves a little bit about whether to come towards you or whether to approach. That is just the overall feeling I'm getting here. It may be someone who is very much used to taking the lead, to being in control. Here with the Emperor card, you could be dealing with an Aries, some of you. We've also got Leo here, so fire energy, someone I feel who is usually quite confident and I'm not necessarily getting that it's a lack of confidence that is why they're weighing it up here. Let me just sit with the cards for a second. I feel like this is actually someone who is confident but maybe a little bit uh, proud and maybe maybe waiting for the right time to it feel the word I'm getting here it feels like impress you or show you what they have to offer but I'm not really getting them coming towards you I just want to pull a couple of clarifiers here with the eight of cups because the eight of cups can be about walking away from something and of course we are asking who this person might be and just up here on this five of wands let's just have a look at these hopefully this will give a bit more clarity so two of coins okay pile one now, I always say this when someone that you may have had a connection with before comes up, that it's always up to you whether you want to um, connect with someone that, you're, that you may have had something with or something may have happened with or not. You never need to go down the path. These uh, cards, of course, not telling you anything set in stone. But with the death card there, because that's what this was looking like. It was looking like someone that may have been sitting a little bit in their pride or something and that they may be thinking if it if they don't, like if you don't um, get impressed or if you don't notice them or if something that they put forward is not really successful, then they will need to take it as they cue to move in a different direction just to go in a different direction here but now you have the death card coming up over the five of wands so i am wondering if perhaps could have been a few of you that had something with this person but more what i'm getting is that this person may feel like they have expressed interest in you in the past and that it didn't go anywhere or that you didn't really notice them and so the way that they may have expressed interest was not necessarily very overt it could have just been by being in your presence or you know what i mean like um let's just take for example i'll just use this as an, as an example it may have been on social media that a lot of uh, people were talking to you or commenting to you or saying something to you interacting with you and this person may feel like well i put my hat in the ring like i put it in there but um, pile one didn't really notice me and so I feel like this person sees you as being the one who holds the cards here for the choice like you are the one that holds the power they may be looking at this as a little bit of a power dynamic and I don't know that that's necessarily how you would be seeing it maybe this is just someone who talked to you and because you had a lot going on you you know didn't notice that they were expressing or they're showing interest but to them they may have thought well I'm going to put myself out there now I'm not saying that they look like they've given up on that but there does seem to be to me perhaps an idea in their mind that they weren't noticed or that there was competition going on other people around and there's something about that it's just This person feels like they tend to, well, at least in this, um, in these cards, this looks to me like it could be someone who is very calm when they approach things, very 
okay, it didn't uh, work out that way. So you know what? I will put myself forward or I will make some kind of ace of coins gesture towards pile one. So maybe there will be some kind of solid gesture or more direct approach here and coming in with this knight of wands energy. So expressing and showing their interest, but also saying to themselves that if pile one doesn't notice me after I do that, then I need to take it as a cue that that's uh, not the right direction. So I feel like they see it as being in your hands and they're not quite sure how it will go here with the two of coins, like they're weighing it up. They could also be weighing up how to do that, how to come towards you, how to make that expression. But that's what it feels like to me. Someone who sees themselves as having kind of put themselves forward a little bit but maybe not a whole lot and not really the cues not being picked up on it, and it may have been very subtle i'll go back to that death card in a moment so that does come through for a lot a lot of you and that they they're saying not that i'll give up but oh that wasn't noticed i need to do something a little bit more concrete a little bit more avert a little bit more obvious a little bit more showing my interest and then if that doesn't pay off or it doesn't um, result in anything well then I will know pile one is not interested in me but with the death card here also that could have been like they did this a while ago and then it's like they kind of put that idea aside they thought that opportunity was lost but now they're thinking I still have this crush on pile one. I'm still thinking about them. I'm still drawn to them. And I'm wondering also here if this strength card is saying that one of the things that they really are drawn to about you is that the two of you have something about your energy that matches. And maybe they have felt in the past, I do get a very calm solidness to them with this emperor card. But they may also get that from you. They might feel like they have met other people in the past and it has never quite felt that that person could hold their same, the same energy as them. Not that we have to be the same, but if you get what I'm saying, like hold on to maybe their personal sense of independence or their personal power or something about that I feel is in this set of cards as well. And of course, we've got Scorpio on the table as well there. So a few signs that I just I'll try to remember to mention as we're moving through the reading. Now, let's start clarifying and moving a little bit more into this. <clears throat> OK, where are we going to go? Let's let's come up onto this Emperor card because I feel like that is their energy. That top row there in particular. Emperor is jumping out. So let's have a look. Tell me more about this person. Oh, I don't want three. I just want one or two. So we can get a very kind of more. Okay. Wasn't expecting that one. Nine of Swords. What else have we got? Uh-huh. So I talked a moment ago about them perhaps with this two of pentacles, not being quite sure how things are going to go and maybe even not being quite sure how to make this approach, like how to express this interest in a more concrete way. Maybe this is something they are worrying about a bit, like how do I communicate? How do I express? It's in the bottom. Six of pentacles. Okay, so as I'm laying these cards out and I'm talking about them, these two cards in particular, the Ace of Coins and the Six of Pentacles, make me think about, well, they were, this one's about giving, okay, but I'm getting the word worth, and so they may be wondering how do they show you a certain side to themselves or how do they make themselves stand out in some way that's what it feels like to me wondering how they make themselves stand out to you 
how do they stand out as different maybe if they do perceive that there are others around you or how do they just get onto your radar or get onto your radar as something more than what they have felt that they've been okay let me come over to this strength card show me the strength card please The Hermit. So for me, this is talking about inner strength. It's talking about strength perhaps also that has come about through sacrifice or taking time out to really understand who you are. So maybe this is something they see in you. Possibly it's something that they feel or that they relate to. Okay, so maybe that is what this connection is that was coming through before. I just want to come up to, I mean, Virgo could also be relevant for some of you. I just want to come up to that Two of Swords. Show me the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? The Lovers. I feel like this one wants to come out. I'll just cover up that Lovers card. The lovers and the fool. Feels like a second shot to me. It feels like a second chance. And even though to you, you might be thinking there hasn't been a first with this person. Maybe from their perception, there was some point in time previously when they felt like they connected with you and they could have done more or there was something that was too subtle or not showing enough interest. But the Two of Swords with the Lovers and the Fool. So the Fool, of course, is about taking these chances, this new beginning, stepping off into the unknown. And we've got the Lovers, this connection, this choice maybe, but maybe not quite at the moment making that move or because they're not sure how to do it or they're not sure when to do it. I don't so much get that they're not doing it because of fear. I'm not getting that. The emperor is confident. The emperor um, knows what their boundaries are and they are very stable and it's a very strong energy. But it's almost like until they know exactly how they want to approach it, they're just not going to make a move or they're just sitting waiting until some clarity comes to them or maybe they're getting clarity. Let me just look at this. Yeah, because I don't even get that there is a fear. There would probably be disappointment if it didn't go anywhere. But this is someone who I feel is quite resilient, like who is realistic about sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. But they do seem to, um, from what these cards are saying, to potentially feel like you hold the power to make the decision here. It's up to you. The ball will be in your court. And that what they can do to give themselves the best opportunity or to give this connection the best opportunity is to show you something about what they can give to the connection, who they are, or maybe something about what they have built for themselves. And I know that that may sound very material and I'm not meaning it to really sound like that because that's not how it's coming through to me. But the Ace of Coins feels like that solid new beginning. And so maybe this is a solid new start or a solid new way of approaching or coming in with a different energy. What may have felt a little bit flighty or, or ungrounded over here in the past. I feel like they want to show you this is who I really am or this is where I am now. I'm in this more grounded energy and I want to come towards you and show you that I'm interested in something more knight of wands 
Now, I like that Knight of Wands with those two cards above it. Okay, let me just get one more on this Eight of Cups before I start getting Oracle cards out because I feel initially that this is them saying, you know, I'll give it a shot and if it doesn't work, well, then I need to go in a different direction. Yeah, they might be thinking, they might be erring on the side of you won't be interested or you won't accept what they have to offer. Look at that, King of Cups on the bottom. So maybe they're kind of bracing themselves or saying to themselves, you know what, I'm in this Emperor energy. I can um, move towards something else if this doesn't work out. And I know that might sound a little bit, you know, if someone has a crush on us, we might think, oh, they're already planning for it not to work out. But I feel like they tell themselves this so that they can be very grounded when they come in, not come in with any kind of overwhelming kind of energy that's like this has to happen you know that kind of sense of urgency that can put people off like this is my person you you and I that's it I've got it all worked out I feel like they want to avoid coming in like that so they're trying to ground themselves a bit I really tap into this aspect of themselves here that is saying it will be okay regardless of how it works out I would like for pile one to be interested in me but if they're not, then I will accept that and it will be okay. Yeah, this person may also have been interested in you for quite some time. Okay, let's start getting some oracle cards onto this. For those of you who are resonating with it. Okay. Where are we going to start? Let's start with these ones. Show me about this connection, please. Show me about this connection. Show me about this crush. Anything about this person crushing on pile one. I've got two here. Okay. So we have, I've got three here. So I've got haunted. And we did talk a little while ago about that this could be someone from the past or that there's been something that's happened between you where they didn't feel like it either worked out or it didn't get off the ground here. And so perhaps that has been a regret of theirs. Interesting that Haunted comes up with death. So it's like the ending has stuck with them. Whatever happened back then, whether it was something even that might have seemed minor like a missed opportunity to you you might have just overlooked it like yeah we talked but it never went anywhere but there is some kind of memory attached to that perhaps that has stayed with them so i'm going to put that one down there communication yeah we talked about that and banish interesting so i'm going to put that one here because this is what i feel they have been bracing themselves for or are bracing themselves for that they know there is no guarantee to this connection they know that um, potentially you have other people that are vying for your attention as well and that this missed opportunity they may not be sure if it was just because you didn't notice or if it was because you weren't interested but they have decided that it is worth really being a little bit more forthright and a bit more communicating a bit more clearly here because look at all the lines there right even if it risks this um sweeping out okay even if you get your broom and say look not interested sorry i'm connecting with someone else or i'm not interested in a relationship or even if you did realize before that they were interested and you weren't interested then and you're not interested now they're prepared to um take that opportunity to see if the interest is there i want to see if you are interested and of course it's not going to be the same for everyone we're going to have some of you that are and some of you that aren't but i want to get for the majority of pile one spirit show me how the majority of pile one feel about this person how do the majority of pile one feel about this person oh okay so we've got the hierophant just give me one more
feminine strength. So to me, this looks like it's someone that you feel a connection with or would be interested in, but perhaps they either didn't make their interest clear enough to you in the past or whatever happened in the past, it just didn't get off the ground here. But with Hierophant, that can be about a deep spiritual connection. That can be, it can be Taurus energy. You've got, of course, Leo energy here again with strength. And so perhaps we were talking about that they may see you as this strength um, energy, as someone who is really able to tap into a core strength, okay, a core part of themselves. And maybe that is also how you see them. It almost feels like a sense of admiration. So it could be mutual. And of course, like I said, it won't be for all of you. And I'm just, um, I can only obviously pull the messages for um, what come out here for those that they connect with. But I feel for many of you, there is a sense that this person and you vibe on a similar level and that there's some kind of energetic match here that you like and that this could be a good partnership or a good connection. You may be sensing that or feeling that. Let's keep going. Get some of these straight talking tarot out. I keep getting the letter A coming through. I'm not sure. We'll wait until we get to the letters. Guard your heart, okay. We talked about that, didn't we? We talked about that um, I don't necessarily feel this person is very guarded, as in the word guarded, but there's something here about them preparing themselves for whatever outcome comes, okay. And some more, please, for this connection, for this person. Some more, please, Spirit. Okay. Pillow talk. And let's have a look. What else have we got? Decide what you really want. You know what it makes me feel like, this decide what you really want? I got it down here with the Banish and the Eight of Cups. It's almost like you um, deciding that staying in the energy of crushing on someone and not taking a chance on it is probably the least preferable option. Like it's better to take a chance and then at least know where you stand than to just stay in this energy of crushing on someone and maybe let them go in a different direction when there's a possibility that maybe they feel the same way. So I feel like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to communicate or put forward some kind of approach here once I know the right way to do it. That's what they could be thinking. But in order to do that, I'm going to make sure that I have my heart protected and guarded so that I am prepared for whatever comes. And that means that I will go in with a very grounded energy, not an energy of desperation, not an energy of this has to be, this has to work out, not an energy of putting pressure on pile one, just letting it unfold if that's what we both want. Okay, so knowing that that's what they want if they have a crush, but letting it unfold if that is also what you want. And if it's not what you want, being in an energy of acceptance. That's what I'm getting here. Let's keep going with these. What else? Four pile one. Four pile one. Four pile one. I'm going to get two of those. False hope tries to sell you a pipe dream. No substance evasive. Okay. What else have we got? Self-righteous, acts spiritually superior, condescending or preachy. All right. How do they tie in? I'm going to put them next to each other. Let's just show you a pipe dream. No, something so evasive. Just 
you know what this feels like to me? I feel like this is what they're trying to avoid. They're trying to avoid coming in and giving that feeling of I've got no substance. Maybe they feel like if there was competition, that's why they're wanting to show you here this Ace of Pentacles, who it is they truly are, what it is they've built for themselves, if they've been into that hermit mode, like what their path has been. So this might be what they're worried about. Like maybe you're going to brush them off as someone who's just selling you false hope. But this one is interesting. Act spiritually superior, condescending and preachy. Maybe there has been something around um, this person because they are coming up as the emperor. Let's just have a look. I talked a moment ago about them getting themselves like braced and getting themselves really grounded. And maybe for some of them, they do tap into their spiritual beliefs or the belief of, you know, if it's meant to be, it will be, you know, the things meant for me will never miss me, that kind of thing. But it could risk maybe coming off as a little bit uh, condescending if they say that. Or remember I said to you earlier as I was talking, I said, oh, it might not sound nice saying that someone is bracing themselves for either outcome when they're interested in us because we always like to think that people come in optimistically. And so maybe there is a sense of just being aware if they come in and give off a bit of a it's, it'll be okay either way that it goes. Like whatever you say or do, maybe they need to just be aware of that. But if they do come in saying, you know, I'm okay, whatever pathway you take, I feel like it's coming from a place that is not, even though it might appear to be condescending or like they're trying to tell you I'm in a really good place and I'm really grounded, they may not all say this, but it could just be a message for a couple of you, that it's really coming from a place of them feeling like they put themselves forward before and now that the right thing to do is to be more straightforward, say what you want, okay, decide what you want, move towards it in the right way after you've made the decision how to do it, and be prepared that the other person may or may not be on board. But it could come across a little bit as they have this buffer around them. And it might give off a little bit of a, they're not too invested. Or that's what this is making me feel. And so it could just be about if that's the vibe you're getting, just looking a little bit more closely and going, are they just uh, saying that they don't mind because they're the one approaching me and they're the one interested? So I would kind of read between the lines and just not take it too personally if someone is saying to you, I'm okay either way, whatever you decide to do. Because normally people don't voice that. They just be okay, right? But the fact that this card is coming up is making me wonder if they say something. There could be a little bit of awkwardness around how they phrase what that, how they will react depending on your reaction. Hmm, okay. All right, let's just keep going. So unusual messages to get in a crush reading. But anyway, we'll keep going here. Let's go next to these cards. Getting that A coming in again. A, A, A. Letter A. I don't know if it's Andrew. Feels like A N and something and not N. It feels longer than N. Anyway, we'll keep going. We'll see what we get. What else have we got here? Okay. faith so you're getting a couple of things around um spirituality here and balancing act yeah yeah balancing act so that makes perfect sense so this to them may feel like a balancing act balancing their hope and their faith okay their hope that things will grow and develop and their faith that either way 
and notice that she's sitting here up on the top here either way in these crosses either way it will be okay so you can't always trust or have faith that someone else is going to do a particular thing because everyone has their free will and so that's what this person is very much aware of and so they are doing this balancing act of getting themselves in an understanding that they cannot control this but by the same token they can also control whether they come towards you and express even if in the past it didn't get off the ground or even if in the past you didn't um take their or see their cue it, i keep getting that it would have been really subtle all right there would have been something really subtle about the things that they said or did and that there may have been others around here with this five of wands let's get the messages out message cards please message cards please Okay, let's have a look, pile one. What are their messages for you? I wonder if you love me. Okay, well, that's a big leap from someone that may have approached you and now they're wondering if you love them. Hmm. And a card just dropped onto the floor that says set sail. Okay, I feel our connection deeply. I need to get another card. I never get five cards. Making a decision. So we talked about that a lot in this reading. True love. I see you in my dreams. And we're going to get one more. What else? For pile one, please. For pile one. Holy Spirit, for pile one. Got two, of course. Ending a relationship. Things will change in time. So maybe one of you is exiting some kind of relationship or has just recently ended a relationship. Maybe you have become available and that is what's prompting them to come towards you or to think about how they could come towards you and show you um, some kind of something concrete, okay? Something concrete about their interest. So it might be saying it or actually inviting you somewhere or making a gesture. I'm getting very dark hair as I'm saying this like almost uh, black. Okay. Yeah, so there could be an actual invitation or it feels like that. If, when I say concrete, that's what I'm meaning by concrete. Let's get some letters and charms out here. Now, I am planning to get bigger letters so that you can see them a bit more clearly. But what I'm going to do today is I'm not going to pull them all. I'm just going to get a handful and put them out on the table and you might see some initials in these letters of either you or a person on your mind oh i've got a whole lot here hang on i just i don't want to have too many because i feel like it's probably clearer when we have fewer sometimes so for pile one show me the initials that may be helpful for them there's that a o V, 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 okay. It's making me think of a W, <laughs> okay. O, R, A, and M. Okay. So these could be first or last initials. They could be initials of places. I might just get a couple more because we've got the three Vs. I'll just grab, grab say, three more. I've got, no, I've got four more. Y, and of course we get two Ys. D and S. Okay. So we'll leave that there and we'll move to the charms now. 
We'll just see what we get through in these charms. For pile one, please, Spirit. What have we got? We've got a K. We have got a stag there with its horns. And so this is making me think of the uh, growth, like moving through things. I feel like both of you have in common that you have been through um, transformative things, like big things, maybe even similar things. Uh, this also connects me in with the masculine principle. There is that skull and crossbones, so danger. Maybe there's been something around the connection not being able to be to happen you know like especially if one of you was in another connection karma we have got three bananas here so to me that's like three energies or a group there could have been an extra person maybe connected to you that you are now disconnecting from or to them i feel like something may have opened up here to open a pathway that little cat with a love heart as I'm putting that down, I got the word name. So there could be something about the name of this person or you connecting with a pet's name. Doesn't have to be a cat. Could be a pet's name of someone. Okay, like a connection. Say, for example, you had a pet or you or they had a pet that was the other person's name or something like that. We've got the piggy bank. I feel like this person may be very focused on building their material world around them. We did get that Ace of Pentacles. That could be one of the things they're very proud of. We've got that graduation cap. So this could be uh, learning as in formal learning or informal learning. The clock, the timing is important here. Okay, this person is very conscious of the right time. We've got the, the truck. We have got, what's this one? This is a key. A key with a heart on it. I'm going to put that with a clock, all right, because it feels to me like that's about timing. The swan, this person may feel like you are very graceful. And we have the snowflake, which to me is often about um, time as well because snowflakes um, go so quickly. You know, they, they're here one moment and gone the next. They're also about uniqueness. So maybe they are some of the things that they really are drawn to you about um, as well. Like drawn to you because you are graceful and there's something very unique about you. Inspire. Could be something inspirational. There we have the dragon. So... I am wondering, pile one... If this person feels like your energy is able to switch um, and that they are similar, there might be something they relate to you in relate to you in terms of there is a, a softness because the swan and the snowflake both give me a kind of softer energy, but then the dragon is someone who really knows how to stand up and assert themselves like this strength card. And so that could be something also that draws them to you. The clouds which is to me is about dreams. It can also be about moods. The long game of golf, <laughs> okay. A rocket. So you've got these two opposing energies here, like something that's taken a long time and then suddenly maybe the opportunity arises and there's that A, okay. So that's what we've got for you for charms, Pa one. I hope that that, is helpful to you. I feel like this person does want to, um, at some point, come towards you and make some kind of solid either invitation or say something to you about their interest in you. Even though in the past, for a few of you, it actually was started, like it was something that ended and didn't really go far. I feel like it was only something small. For others, it just never got off the ground because they were too subtle, 
they felt like there was competition. Maybe they stepped back when they saw that there was others around or they felt like you didn't notice them. And now they're saying, you know what, uh, if I don't go towards pile one, I, I will just miss out anyway and they'll go in a different direction. So rather than just stay in this energy, I'm better off to brace myself, make a decision about how I'm going to do it and then do it. Just let them know. Make it clearer. Be more forthright. That's what I've got, pile one. Sending you lots of love. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, if you can hit that like button, it does help the channel a lot. And I'll hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye, pile one. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's pop your crystal there. And let's just give your cards a shuffle. Let's have a look here. For pile two, the hermit. The Five of Wands, The Lovers, Justice, Ace of Swords, oh this is so sweet, Six of Cups and the Emperor. So we've got the Hermit here which is Virgo energy and we've also got Virgo, Gemini there, Virgo, Gemini, Libra and Aries. But these first cards that came out, Pile 2, are making me feel like this person could be a little bit more on the introverted side or just a little bit quieter. That's the sense I'm getting here. We've got the Hermit. I don't feel like they're necessarily, um, you know, completely reclusive or pulled within. But with this five of wands, even the body language in these two people here, it could have been a matter of the two of you being in very close proximity to each other. Let me just look at the water dripping here. Is that water there? Um, in very close proximity to each other, but something about the eye contact may have been very significant. So here they're making no eye contact, but perhaps there was something about eye contact happening and then looking away. I'm getting that kind of feeling where it almost gives me a sense of shyness or hesitation. Like there's a distance that's maintained here, but it feels, well, one person, well, they both kind of look like they're in their own little worlds, but it also gives me a sense of this whole thing about um, just respecting one another's space or what is appropriate and what is not. So it could have even been like an intense attraction that caused them to look away, you know, that kind of thing. It's giving me the sense of, with the lover's card, the fantasy, you know, the dream of what it could be. Like thinking about it, but not necessarily doing it with the lover's injustice here. It's like recognising you there, but not having made a move, not having said anything. And you may not have either, just because of the way that they are not connecting with each other and even under here the ace of swords are they wishing that they said something are they going over in their head what they could have said and of course the hermit is an energy that goes in wood and reflects so this makes me feel like the person who has a crush on you pile two is someone who is thinking about i wish i said this when i was last near pile two or when i met pile two I wish that I had spoken up. I wish I'd been more confident maybe or more in the moment. Actually, I feel like these people are in the moment, but there's certainly a withdrawal or a deliberate attempt I feel to look away from one another more so from him than her to me she looks like she is in her own world so one of you may have just been focused on something else a little bit in a dreamy energy and the other person may have felt 
intense attraction, potentially your crush felt intense attraction, but thought it's rude to uh, just be so forward and so obvious or to say something might be rude. But then now I feel like they're looking back at it after these thoughts about, you know, the justice card and the lover's card, what could be, what could have happened then, and saying, I wish I'd said something more. And even the Six of Cups is about the past. And here we have the Emperor. It's interesting because some of the cards have been similar to what was in Pile 1, but the energy feels so very, very different. So the Emperor appeared there, and so did the Hermit. And perhaps a couple of other cards, but it feels different to me. This feels like someone who is more reserved, someone who feels like if I was in more of this Emperor mode, if I was more like this, he looks like a warrior here, right? Or he looks like a gladiator or something like that. But if I was more in this kind of energy, then things would have worked out in a more balanced way, in the way that I'd want them to work out. Now, I want to go to the Six of Cups. I'm being very drawn here. The Six of Cups can speak about memories, nostalgia, childhood, um, part, uh, friends that we've had history with. There could be something around that, but this could also be something about them just looking back at missed opportunities here. Going over in their head, like thinking about what could have been. I need to get some clarifiers, I feel, and just start here on the Six of Cups because that is the card that is calling me. Show me more about the Six of Cups, please. Three of Pentacles. On the bottom, the Five of Cups. Hmm. So they could literally, I mean, this could be very literal. There could be something around there were three opportunities or three people. So the three is really jumping out as it could be literal. But it almost gives me a sense of lost time or this could have been something much more by now or there, there could have been so much progress to this connection if I had have spoken up or what could have been. It gives me a sense of what could have been. And then on the bottom, we've got that five of cups. So some kind of sense of what has been lost here. And even here, the three are on the ground. So is this lost time, three? lost opportunities but behind them there are the two cups standing so there could be still an opportunity but they are focused on past things that could have happened should have happened they wish happened where we'd be if this had have happened their focus may be still very much on this and the daydream this feels very much like the dream and I know that these cards they're beautiful but they're very dreamy and very night uh, I mean they are about the night right and so they may be wishing if only I were like this rather than thinking how could this come about what could happen here like what proactive steps could happen to take us from here to here because that's what I feel it is. It's about the desire, going inwards and looking at the desire of here to here. But to get from those there to there, it you need to come out. You know, there needs to be this action. There needs to be some kind of action on one side or the other. I'm just going to grab a glass of water, pile two. It won't be a second. So let's come in over this hermit card, okay? Because this is where I feel they are at the moment very much in their thoughts about the the dream of what could be.
For some of you, you may have met this person quite recently. That won't be for all of you, but for some of you, it could have been a quite recent um, meeting where you were doing your thing and this person, I feel like you recognize them. I was going to say you're doing your thing and in your own little world, you could have been like that, but I do get a sense that you would have uh, recognize them or being aware of them being there but I feel maybe they avoided eye contact or there was something about the eye contact that really stood out brown eyes brown eyes could be significant okay we've got nine of swords Temperance, I hope you can see these on here. And the death card. Wow, okay. So I was talking um, on another reading that I was doing late uh, recently on the other channel about how these readings, when we do the picker cards, often there'll be threads that run through them. And I'm not sure if that's because the people that are being drawn to them sometimes watch more than one or what is going on. But this death card also appeared in pile one. And temperance too, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's just keep moving with it because like I said, the energy does feel different. It feel, This person feels different to me. Than pile one's person but there is something here about them perhaps feeling like that was their opportunity i feel like they are stuck on it they are dwelling on it they are thinking about the what ifs i'm not getting a whole lot of stuff here i have to be honest pile two about seeing any moves but we'll ask about that in a moment it feels like that's why I feel like it could be quite recent. It feels like they are just going over, maybe giving themselves a hard time about not saying what they wish they had said or being in this energy of looking away, not making any kind of contact or saying anything. Let's just keep going. Let's come over to this, over to this side again to Justice and the Emperor. Show me more about Justice and the Emperor. Please, what is this person realising about if they want this to get off the ground other than that they need to get a bit clearer on the forward movement? Okay, I was going to try and pull that one out, but this one wants to come too, so it's coming with it. I got the name Peter then, and I'm not sure if it's Peter as in a girl's name, Peter, just passing it through. It could have even been connected to somewhere you were, like Pete or Peter. Peter also means to peter out, doesn't it? Like something kind of peters out. <laughs> okay, so my voice. Yeah, so maybe this person started to say something or lost some kind of um, confidence in saying it or the conversation just petered out and it didn't keep flowing and they're thinking I could have kept that going I or I could have let it lead to something more to keep the connection going. So maybe there was conversation that petered out. If that name is not resonating, maybe it's about the conversation. That's a very specific um, word there. All right, so we've got Knight of Cups. Got quite a few here, Two of Cups. But they did want to come out together. So two of cups, five of swords, three of swords. I'm going to put those there together. I'm getting a very... Um, specific visual now 
at the moment so it's not going to be for everyone as well but there's something about perhaps you were in a group maybe of three or a few of you and they somehow had an opportunity to be alone with you and that's how this came about it's like there were others around and then suddenly there were the two of you and they felt like that could have been the opportunity that could have been the chance that's when i should have said something to keep things flowing between us or to make sure that things continued and things developed like to get growth you know ensure growth or something like that so i'm just going to pass that through for anyone who resonates with that message two of cups yeah this person i feel dreams about a connection something deeper growth with you but once again is looking at maybe a lost opportunity or some sort of block here or maybe others being around being a block or maybe they let they feel like they let their own um what is it where's that deck four of wands like what could have felt uncomfortable in the moment pushing themselves a little bit to express maybe they let their desire to just be comfortable in the moment or to avoid any potential rejection or discomfort override in that moment override the desire to connect and now they're wishing that they did do that regardless of what was going on like that they really went for what they wanted you know like i'm not saying went for it as in threw themselves at you but wish that they just opened the dialogue and somehow i get that there's something specific about if they did open it keeping it going like getting it to flow so that the connection kept going and so they might be telling themselves will i get that opportunity again will this happen again and maybe that's why they're stuck here if if they're resonating with that or if you're resonating with you feel like they're here and they're not really making a move and they're just thinking about the what ifs and they're not really in their um, confident mode to come towards you that might be why because they're feeling that the opportunity it passed it was fleeting that it maybe it was a one-off and that's that's when it should have happened and maybe even the other thing that i'm getting but i want to pull some cards on it they could feel like there's been some kind of well let me just shuffle here they may feel that by not saying something it's giving you the impression or it's sent the message that they're not interested hmm. i'm going to take that in reverse or upright nine of cups They may feel like because nothing happened or because there wasn't more dialogue or they didn't make a move or say something or get the conversation to where they wish they did, that they've given you the impression that they are quite content where they are and they don't really want anything more, that they were happy to just move past that moment and let things between you be whatever they are, even if they're not much, even if you're just acquaintances. Maybe they feel like that's the impression I've given Paul to. So how, how could I ever go back? When would this opportunity arise again? I'd need to change my energy up and how can I do that? So instead of looking at ways to do that, they may just be wishing I should have said this, I could have said this and dreaming about the what ifs. That's what I'm getting there. Let's have a look at some of your Oracle cards and see where they take us. All right, where are we gonna go? Let's go here. freeze perhaps they froze in the moment maybe they wanted to say something but it just wouldn't come out it froze they got stuck or they felt like the conversation it was too awkward or something about it was stilted you know particularly what if um <laughs> particularly what if you were upset because i'm just looking at this woman here but particularly if you were in your own world around something else that was going on for you maybe you were distracted or this woman does look like she is upset or deep in thought 
and maybe they felt like this is just not easy. I can't get the flow going and that's what froze them or froze the conversation. Let's just get one more of these. Can we have one more of these, please? For pile two. For pile two. Oops, you know what, I forgot that one. Depth. Okay, so pile two, this person, what this looks like to me, could have been feeling well out of their depths here. They could have been feeling like this situation when they were around you last, felt like it was unfamiliar, uncharted territory, and they just froze. They weren't quite sure how to take it forward, either because they were telling themselves that you are in your own world, you're not really concerned with whatever they have to say. That might have been a story they told themselves, or maybe the story that they were telling themselves is, I'm not in this emperor mode, which I don't feel is necessarily true. Okay, they could have um, maybe gotten there, but... It might have been difficult. Maybe it was just difficult in that moment to feel that aspect of themselves, to feel like they're in that emperor mode. And so it almost feels to me like, oh, sorry, sorry, it almost feels to me like whatever happened here between the two of you, they have retreated more into hermit mode rather than going into emperor mode and thought, and they're in there thinking about how I should be in emperor mode if I want this to move forward. But instead of doing that, they are dreaming about it. They're crushing on you, thinking about you, thinking about um, what could have happened, what could have been said, where you could be now, what this connection could be. Yeah, okay, all right, let's keep moving here. Let's get these cards. Four pile two, please, Spirit. Four pile two. Four pile two. Four pile two. Tell me more about this person, this connection. I want to find out some stuff about what it is that draws them to you. Pile two, what's calling them to you? Let's have a look. Hurt. Okay. And a question mark. Forgive. Poison. Okay. They're unusual words. I'm going to put that over there like that. So... Perhaps for some of you, this person felt like you were going through something. It could have been another connection that was ending or closing out and that you weren't really interested in any other um, approaches or someone coming towards you. They could have been there as someone that's an acquaintance or in your environment and feeling like, you know what, I know that Pole 2 has recently gone through some kind of breakup or that someone who... Um, has done something to hurt them, has just exited their life. And so I'm not going to come in because to them, a connection, a new connection might be the last thing they're wanting, okay? Might be the last thing that they're thinking of or being drawn towards. But here we have forgive. So let me just get another one on why forgive is coming up. That could be about them feeling like you need time just to... Um, maybe at the moment they felt like you needed time or maybe that was what they told themselves and now they're looking back and thinking, you know what, I could have, yeah, 
I could have said something. I could have, excuse me. Sorry, pile two. Okay, so yeah, this might have been something that they were telling themselves that you either needed to have space or maybe they did it, they said it to themselves at the time so they could escape um, the pressure that they felt because I get that this could have been about an intense attraction, like I said, where it was very awkward for them to come towards you. So let's just keep going with our Oracle cards here and see what else we get. What else have we got here for pile two? Unpredictable. Never know what they'll do. Unreliable or live wire. Okay. See, I don't get a very unpredictable energy from this person. I get more that they are reserved, more quiet, a little bit hesitant to put themselves out there maybe and wishing that they were more in this energy. But I did get that this was an aspect of them. So perhaps they um, are able to tap into this and that you've seen this side of them at times, but that they didn't show that. And so it could have been that you've seen this side of them around other people or in other circumstances. But when it came to the two of you being alone, that's not what they showed you. Maybe there's something around that. And maybe that gave you the impression that they are not so much unreliable, but more unpredictable. Or that you don't quite know who they are. Because look at how this is a mask and we see the person behind it just a little bit. So maybe there's something around that. Have a look at these cards and see what we get in here. What else have we got for pile two? What else have we got for pile two? I'm getting Wednesday is coming through as perhaps being significant for someone here. Wednesday. Maybe Wednesdays is the day that you see them. I'm not sure. Wednesday. Okay. We've got gentlemen. Interesting because it um, really connects me with this energy up here where I was talking about the manners and the right thing to do. Okay. Maybe they think about the right thing to do. There could be something around that. And TikTok. So there may be that line in there, they are holding their lantern. Okay, so there's our hermit. Thinking about that line between what is crossing the line from the right thing to do, maybe the socially acceptable thing to do or the appropriate thing in certain circumstances and missing out on opportunities. This is what I feel they're thinking about. Like I stayed in this mode and I try to do the right thing and be a person who respects the moment. But at the same time, that caused me to miss out on an opportunity here. That could be one of the things they're reflecting on. And even this gentleman here is wearing his watch. And so there is something about the time, the timing to be in a certain energy and when it's okay to step into the to a different energy, like to be more in this emperor, take control, take um, command of a situation and speak up and speak out. So maybe there is something around this person reflecting on that and thinking, you know what, when is the right time for me to do those things, to come forward? And why didn't I come forward? And maybe, well, I was going to say maybe they are thinking about whether they can still do that. Is there still time? But I'm once again not seeing a whole lot of action. I feel like this person is still in their 
um, cave, you know, still thinking about this, still reflecting on whatever happened, still thinking about this could have been said, that could have been said. I could have still stayed in a very respectful mode, but also spoken, also been proactive. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, gentlemen, and it doesn't matter about gender, but it doesn't have to be the gentleman or suddenly the, um, you know, wild person running towards you saying this is what I want a relationship I'm so drawn to you it doesn't have to be one extreme to the other like they they both can coexist and so this is what is going on I feel in this hermit moment let's go into some messages and then I want to ask what it is that's drawing them to you before I do the charms and the letters Some messages, please, from this person for part two. Things will change in time. A romantic time ahead. What else have we got here? Might just get a few more out. I'll shuffle them in and speed you up. Okay, so I know some of you would have seen this one come out. This person to me um, is very connected to their feelings and some of them may even have felt that their feelings have developed as far as to say, I love you or to be feeling that. Maybe that is what they wish they said. For someone depending on where this connection was at it does feel to me like this is someone who didn't speak out when they wish they did and who let things go past a point because they weren't in their confidence to take the lead and take it to where they wanted to take it okay because either they were telling themselves that you were hurt over something for a few of you it could have even been hurt over this connection but they held back and they didn't approach and now they are in their cave feeling like this opportunity is missed this is just going to remain my crush or for a few of you the one that got away maybe let's keep going i'm scared i'm not enough for you okay i wish to hear from you you are everything I desire. So lots of cards connected to um, emotion and desire here, all right? But I'm not seeing a whole lot. Well, we have got things will change in time. And we did see those um, that stopwatch and we did see those clocks. So maybe they feel like they will come out of their cave in, in time and that's when they will decide what to do. Or maybe they're hoping you will come towards them and things will change. I know some of you, I can almost hear you now saying I'm not going towards them. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. You always have that choice of whether to do that. But to me, this person looks like they could be just in hermit mode, thinking about what was and what could be. And why didn't I? Why didn't I speak up then? Let's get some cards here. For those who are resonating with these messages... Let's get some cards on what it is that really draws them to you, pile two. Because I felt like there was a lot of reflection about them not coming towards you or not doing something and, uh, and feeling like it will happen in time because we saw justice and we saw the emperor. But I didn't see a whole lot about their stuff in terms of either the action being planned right now or their feelings for you. So I want to see their feelings for you. Show me their, not their feelings, but why they're drawn to you. Like why they've got these feelings. What's, what's going on there? A little bit more about that. Queen of Cups. So they also feel you are a very emotional person. You are very connected in 
with your inner world. And again, here she's looking away. There's parts, pardon me, there's parts of you that are mysterious to them, Paul, too, that they really desire to get to know, I feel, to go deeper and to understand. Let's keep going. Page of Cups, wow, okay. And Four of Swords, and there is another timepiece. So, this person may also see a shyness in you. And I know some of you might be saying, I'm not shy, but they see some sort of softness in you or something about you that is not um, pushy or not. Well, I mean, she's looking directly at me, okay? But there is something about her, well, she's a mermaid, but there is something about her, even with this Four of Swords, where it's like there's a receptiveness to you, but not necessarily I'm going to chase. And I feel like they like that. There's something very open about your energy and very, but still mysterious. I, that's hard to explain. So it's open as in, arms open, welcoming, um, like it feels soft and it feels inviting, but at the same time, it is mysterious. Okay, so it's not like inviting as in you can see everything and you walk through the door and you fully understand this person. It is enticing. That's the right word. There's something enticing about you. They know there are these deeper layers here and they also seem to feel whether they are right or wrong that you are not going to come towards them that they will need to be the one to approach you also with the four of swords they may feel like you are waiting like waiting for the right person to come along or um just waiting for them to make a move like you're not going to they might not necessarily feel you're waiting for a connection but that you're not necessarily the sort of person that is going to go out and chase a connection it will just happen when it happens here but she is looking at the clock so maybe some of them do feel like you were waiting for them to say something to you or that you are waiting for them to say something to you mm, interesting cards but i really do love that energy for how they see you, Eight of Wands. And you know what? The way that I just described it there with her having this very receptive and soft energy and the way that she's kind of looking away, it, there's also the capacity within you to go after what it is you want when you want to. So even though you may not be chasing this person down or chasing a relationship down, if you want something in life, you can move towards it here because we have the Eight of Wands and we see her. This still looks very soft to me, this energy, but she is proactive. Like there is a proactive side to you that you can tap into. So maybe they see that um, there is a safeness in your... Like I feel like this person feels like it would be safe to approach you and it was more about their own uh, limitations that they put on themselves i'm surprised we haven't seen the eight of swords on the table because that's what it feels like to me king of pentacles there all right let's get some charms out here and some letters and just have a look and see what else comes through oh do you know what with pile one i forgot to pull these cards but i did want to just pull one of these beautiful cards for you, pile two. It says celery seed, restoration and leth lethargy. So maybe they are trying to gather their energy and they feel tired or drained from something going on in their world. Or maybe they feel like that's what you are doing because you've got the Four of Swords here. 
And remember, we did talk about them. For some of them, they feel like you were moving through something in your life and that the last thing you'd be thinking about was a relationship. And that might have been the reason or the excuse, maybe for a few of them, that they used as to why they were going to hold back. But here, someone, this is talking about someone who is in a period of restoring their energy, calling it back to them, drawing it back, resting after a period of expending a lot of energy. All right, so let's get the letters. I'll just move that one up here for the moment. And I'm not going to put them all out today. I was saying to pile one, but I feel just called to put a handful out. And you might see your initials, their initials, the initials of the person that's crushing on you, or even the initials of a place or another word. So we've got C, U, B, A, Cuba, J, C, R, U, H, K. All right, so we're going to leave those out and you might see something there that is relevant for you. And I'm going to just get some charms out for pile two, please, some charms. I feel like I have a stack of charms here, so let's just work through them. Okay, and that one fell out. I love you. All right, and we've got the lightning here. Interesting, because we had the uh, freeze card, and now we have the lightning, which feel like very different energies. And we did have that card that talked about maybe an unpredictability, you know, where they can go from maybe the hermit to the emperor. So maybe... You have had some experience of this person. Maybe you've seen them in a friend group or you feel like you just have a sense that they could come in at any time and say something. Maybe they say things off the cuff. Maybe there is something around, um, you know, because we did get a lot of stuff through about them really being reflective about when is the right moment to say things. So maybe there's something around that. You know, they just come out with things like, Suddenly, when you don't expect it, blessed. Okay, we've got music. There could have been music playing when you last connected, or there could be a song that reminds them of you, or that even you of them could remind you of them. We've got the letter S. We've got love again. We've got the penguin. And so the penguin reminds me of the suit, which we saw like the gentleman and we saw that top um, man in a suit. Regardless of this person's gender, there could be something very proper or formal or maybe the way they dress is very formal or they wear something very, um, you know, put together. Something around that, I feel, with the penguin coming through. The bananas, so there could have been more people connected when you saw each other, like more people around. We've got an L. We've got the glasses. There's that clock. Wow. The music note again. So music could be a big thing here. This connection, maybe this person feels a lot through music, very much connects in with it. That would not surprise me from the um, cards that came through before because this is someone who taps in quite easily to their emotions. So I would feel like someone like this, music would have a big impact on them and maybe even for you as well because they seem to look at you and see things in you that feel reflective of them. Not to say you're the same, but there's something there about um, you both being quite sensitive. Maybe you are both water signs or have prominent water placements. L, so I'll just put that there. We've got L, A, Lass as well. We've got Scorpio. We've got the snail. No surprises there. So slow movement. 
the sheep. Now, usually the sheep makes you think, or it makes me think of um, people who follow a crowd, but perhaps this person, this is more about that appropriateness, like if it was, say, for example, a work environment or an environment where you're upset about something, like I need to follow the social norms. It wouldn't be the right thing to do to speak right now because pile two wouldn't be interested or now's not the right moment or people are about to enter the room and it would be awkward, something around that, rather than following people because I don't feel like this person does follow people. I feel like they may be a little bit, uh, you know, their own person, which is good, but... In that moment, they may look to the social environment or others around and kind of have made that call, you know, is it the right time? There's that palette. So, yeah, there could be a lot of creativity um, either in you or this person. Maybe that's one of the things that really draws you to them. And I even get a feeling that for some of them, we do have a lot of uh, music up here, but for some of them, they may even be very arty or they could be the sort of person who writes their own music or does something along those lines or works. I, I got DJ, as I said, that works with music, something creative, like they create in some way. I feel like you probably do that, but I feel like the message is about them. It's a confirmation for you that it's the person who is creative. There's the light bulb. Okay, so again, ideas. With, there's the goat, so Capricorn could be important here. The arrow, I'll put it next to the lightning. And so I feel like they could have been very struck in the moment, maybe taken off guard in the moment that they were alone with you or taken off guard by their attraction to you as well. So we've got the tree here. And in this situation, this is reminding me of networks. So maybe there are people that the two of you know in common as well. Like this person, you two may be networked together, if that makes sense, like have more than one person in common or something like that. The boat or the ship. Let's see, what's the ship about? The ship. So it connects with water. We're getting a lot of water feel here in this reading. There could be like a literal connection to water, like something to do with the water. But I also feel like this might be about um, big journeys. Maybe someone's making a big journey or a big trend, like transitioning through something big in their life. It doesn't have to be a literal journey. It's just bringing me to that at the moment. This is always the one that I've... I talked about it in the last reading, I think, or maybe it was a different reading that I did recently about how this one always reminds me of the old cartoons or comics where they would put the word or phrases in these little um, things like this, okay, little shapes. And so to me, that is all the things I could have said, all the things I could have expressed Maybe this person expresses themselves through music as well or through something creative. Photography, maybe. It's another thing. Yeah, measuring everything, weighing things up. And there is another S. So we've got Lass, which is, where does that word come from? Is it Scottish? I think it might be. So Lass might be significant. But that's what I've got for you, Pile 2. I hope it was helpful. I'm not seeing them making a lot of plans right now at the moment, but I feel like this person, they do move, um, they have different aspects and they do, like most of us do, all of us do, but I feel like they move maybe um, unpredictably from what we saw through the reading in and out of their hermit mode, like they're able to go into that quite easily because they're a very reflective person and I feel at the moment they are thinking about the last time they saw you and why they either didn't say something that you were expecting them to say or that they feel like you're expecting them to say or they didn't say something they wish they said something along those lines that's what I'm getting here all right but um 
you know, things I feel with all these time pieces that in time that this person will, I mean, could be slower, or could have been slow, but I feel like in time they feel that uh, if they want this connection to come into balance, they will need to step into this emperor energy. So that's where it looks like it's at. Hopefully you're able to recognize them and this reading is helpful to you. I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you next time. Bye, pile two. Okay, beautiful pile three. It's now the next day here. I took a little bit of a break after pile two just because it was getting late. Uh, so now we're going to move straight into your shuffle and have a look for pile three. Let's have a look for you, pile three. For pile three, please. many okay pull three let's see what you've got here so you have got the king of cups the world, the ace of cups, the ace of wands, so two aces here on the table, the tower sitting under the world, the page of swords, oh we've got an extra card here, I meant to get seven, wow three aces on the table here and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so, and the sun. So this card coming out as our last card, an extra card that I didn't mean to pull, it makes me feel like you have a very good idea who this person is or that they have made it clear to you that they have some feelings towards you. Also with this world card and this tower card sitting here together, there could have been something about this connection where the two of you um, there's been some kind of closed door to it and it doesn't have to mean when I say a closed door that there was a relationship and it closed down but I feel like there was something between you whether it was a closeness a growing closeness or something enough for feelings to develop because we have the ace of cups here and we have the king of cups and also these three cups so perhaps we'll pull some cards on this tower and have a little bit of a look more deeply here at what this could be. But with the sun card, this feels like a affirmative. You have a very clear idea. You know about this. You're clear about this. But you're also clear about something that was um, it closed down or something that happened within this connection I'm just going to call it a connection the reason I don't really want to call it a relationship and that I feel for most of you it wasn't it didn't go as far as a relationship is that we have these three aces here so this is giving me a strong sense that this person wants to talk to you about a beginning it could be a new beginning for some of you but it is giving me the sense of let's have a beginning let's have a start but there has been enough for feelings to start to evolve or to happen here. Definitely we've got attraction and the desire for something solid. So what I'm going to do before I move further into this is I'm going to come straight over this tower card because that is the one that is kind of jumping out at me as the odd card out here. What happened here? Why is the world sitting over the tower card? Five of Pentacles and Justice. Five of Wands. So this connection 
it almost gives me a sense of a um what do they call it like a you know when a connection just comes up against this obstacle that keeps two people apart it may have been something like that we've got the five of pentacles tell me more about this five of pentacles so someone was left feeling on the outer or maybe this person felt on the outer page of cups perhaps they express feelings in the past yeah, I feel like this person expressed feelings in the past and they didn't go anywhere. Why is that? Why did they not go anywhere? Well, what happened here? Yeah, okay. So we see that Ten of Swords. So they were hurt over what happened here or they have never really gotten over whatever happened between the two of you. I keep getting in my mind as I'm talking, and I know it's not going to apply to all of you, but it could have even been that there was some separation that had to happen because of circumstances. They express feelings, and as a result of whatever was going on in your lives at that time, the connection never really went anywhere. But they didn't um, let go of the feelings for you. They didn't really let go of the disappointment over how things turned out. So perhaps they weren't factoring in all of the extenuating circumstances or the things that were going on around the two of you. It could have been that at the time you just weren't looking for something and you said to them you weren't interested, but I'm getting more of a feeling with this tower and that's why I'm trying to dig a little bit deeper to find out more about it. I'm getting more of a feeling that that was about something that came out of the blue and really left this person okay really left this person feeling like they would carry this torch for you and has left them carrying this torch for you so once again these messages coming through for a different range of people some of them have wanted to connect with you but you were not available to connect with or there was something on going on in your world. Perhaps they approached you and they didn't realise that you had some kind of connection and they have continued to have this crush on you. I feel like this Hierophant may be speaking to some sort of commitment that you had going on in your life and that this may be representing different energies here. So potentially there was a desire to connect with you at a time when you were not uh, free for a connection or available for a connection and this person has held on to the thought of the what ifs ever since and I'm wondering also with the tower if they are now feeling like there is some sort of opportunity to come in I'm not sure we're asking about who has a crush. So hopefully if you're at this pile, it's either resonating with you or it's not. But I want to see where things stand now because you're at this reading and perhaps your circumstances have changed since this person approached you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands. So I asked why they are still carrying this. Why now? Like, why is this happening? at this time and we've got the seven of pentacles in reverse and the ten of wands so perhaps pile three this person has had other connections since whatever happened between the two of you this could have even have happened some time ago like remember we talked at the very beginning of this reading about how it looked like there was some kind of um history potentially or well, there was something here you know between the two of you that had closed out and it could have gone back a while it could be something that happened quite some time ago they've held this torch they've even had other connections but even throughout all of that they have still not forgotten you none of those things maybe grew into what they hoped they would 
or turned out the way they hoped they would and they still carry this you know they still are very much aware of this um, weight they carry of their feelings for you and so i hope and desire for something to get off the ground i want to start having a look and see what your what your uh, feelings are towards them show me pile three towards this person please pile three towards this person Pile three, do you know, just before I shuffle this, I'm feeling called to just sit with these for a moment. So I'm just going to, I'll probably fast forward you a little bit through this because I might sit for a while just in case I'm missing something here because I'm being called back to it, which is making me feel like there is something else here. So let me just sit. Look, I think... Pile three, from what I'm seeing here, it does look like two people who have been living their own lives, doing their own thing, and that at some point in time, this person came towards you um, and expressed some sort of interest, but it didn't, it either wasn't accepted or it didn't get uh, reciprocated because you had something else going on in your life, some sort of commitment or something you were tied to. And it may not have been another connection. I feel like for many of you, it might have been. It could have even been just other things that you were focused on at that time. But whatever it was, this person seems to have been um, in a state of disappointment and feeling like they were on the outer of your life. And from that point, it looks like the two of you have just been doing your own thing. Like that just closed out and that was that. And to me, these two cards look like they are two people if I just like the double layers here, just looking at them from a different perspective here, two people just going about their own journey. But for you, I get the sense because this King of Cups, I feel, represents them regardless of gender. Okay, we're just going to remove that from the picture. We're talking about energy. I feel like the King of Cups is um, representing them because of the emotion that they're bringing to this. But you perhaps have just been in an energy of, I mean, I'm looking at the way that she's dressed and just her stance there, her whole pose, just in the process of enjoying life, getting about doing whatever it is you're doing, and maybe not thinking a whole lot about whatever this was. Maybe it was just sort of pushed into the past. It wasn't given a whole lot of thought because it was just... Um, something that never really came about or came to anything. Someone who let you know they were interested in you, but you weren't available. Well, that happens sometimes. I'm just going to move on with my life and do what I'm doing. And you perhaps um, continued on with whatever this commitment was, whether it was a person or something else going on in your life. And so two people kind of having these parallel lives, but this person carrying this or this torch here, you know, carrying this flame for what they offered down here, what they wish had have come about. And even though they may have tried to grow other things with this Seven of Pentacles or hoped that there would be uh, fruit coming from other relationships, you know, in terms of they, the relationships would ripen and grow into something beautiful. Perhaps because this is in reverse, it never really turned out that way for them or the connection never really dulled the shine for what they felt for you that's what this feels like and so here we see over, over on the right hand side the desire or at least the thought it may be the desire to talk to you or make an offer because we do have the page of um, swords here we'll have a look more deeply into that in a moment but the thought or something in the air with them about some type of new beginning getting off the ground here. The Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles all coming out in this reading. So I'm going to put that card up here, actually with their card. And 
Sorry, I just had to wait for a loud car to go by. So the only ace that we don't have on the table here is the ace of swords. So that may be speaking to there being no clarity about your feelings back towards them, or perhaps that this just hasn't been spoken. It's been thought, but it hasn't been spoken. There isn't um, out in the outer world, there isn't clarity about this. Like it hasn't been put out there for all to see, even though in the past it may have been, like this offer may have come in, or this expression of interest, or this expression of caring, whatever this was down here. At the moment, the desire for this new beginning, I get maybe in the, well, I'm going to have a look. I was going to say in the early stages, but tell me more about this, these three aces here, please. Very Okay. It's not one more. I seem to have a lot of cards out for you, all three, but that's just what we're doing here because I need to dig a little bit. Okay, I've got two more. So, pile three, as that three of cups came out, there could even be a circumstance where this person and you are going to have some kind of contact or have come in contact recently, like some kind of reunion of some sort where this person knows they will see you again or they have recently seen you again, like a bumping into or a crossing paths, you know, and all of this stuff that has been there, that has been carried by them, is still there and is coming to the surface maybe. And perhaps you are single at this time and things are different. And here we see this page of, of pentacles. And if you were single before, perhaps you do not have whatever this other commitment was that was going on. So with the page of pentacles, this is all about that slow uh, movement. They may be looking at you and saying, pole three looks like they are totally happy with their life where they're at. And that their backs are to each other. So this is interesting, the way that I've laid them down. And I just kind of did that without a whole lot of um, conscious thought going into it. So let's, let's just look at that for a moment. And then on the bottom, the Six of Swords. So... The type of connection that you had in the, with them in the past, even if this was a friend or someone that you saw more frequently, there may be something quite different around the way that you connect this time or now. Something around that. There may be others around. It could be like a social environment. And I do notice that their backs are to each other. And I did mention the slow pace of this page of pentacles. So I'm not getting a rushing in, even though the feelings seem to be here, the thoughts and desires to get something started or to see if you're interested in something started to express, but it's like slowly does it. Slowly does it because pile three is in a really good place and we need to rebuild that connection we need to or build a connection of closeness like something about bringing this in closer like pulling it in closer together let's start getting some oracle cards out here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move some of these smaller cards to clear up a little bit of room to the side um i might just put them over here because otherwise I'm going to have piles here of cards, which is not really what I'm wanting. Okay. So let's start pile three with these cards. Okay. Queen of Swords. All right. Let's start. Um, as 
for signs, I'll put this down in a second. I'll just hold it there. As for signs, we've got uh, Sagittarius on the table. I've got my glasses up on my head. Hang on. Um, they may be a water sign. They don't have to be. Scorpio energy coming through. Yeah, okay. All right, let's just agreement. So that card looks like the Two of Cups. It always reminds me of the Two of Cups when it comes out. And remember we had those two cards just here a moment ago that I was talking about, this um, Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And we were talking about them being back-to-back -back and how the closeness, there was something about this closeness needing to be rebuilt. And so agreement, it seems like such a general um gentle kind of word right agreement is the type of word that is not well it's not filled with passion it's just a very uh, gentle kind of word for getting on the same page with each other okay it's the sort of word that you can use for friends it's the sort of word you can use in business it's the sort of word you can use in many different situations and circumstances and so when i was talking a moment ago about bringing this connection back closer together, that to me looks like it could be the approach they're thinking of taking. Get closer to pile three. Try and just get into um, each other's sphere a bit more because perhaps at the moment we're not a whole lot in each other's worlds. We may have two separate things going on and get us on the same page where there is some level of maybe conversations and back and forth, some agreement going on. And I don't mean agreement as in, yes, yes, I agree with you. I mean just agreement that we both want to connect. That's what they could be thinking about doing, just trying to bring this connection into some agreement, even though at the moment the two of you may only be tied by some kind of um, social network or some kind of social environment. So that's what we're getting there. Let's keep going. What else have we got? Okay. Oh, I dropped the whole deck on my lap. That's okay. I caught it. All right. So we've got new connection. So that, um, again, ties in with what we're just talking about, making a new connection. So even though you two have met before, have had something before in terms of, you know, some, some sort of connection, they know you somehow. They have, it looks to me, come towards you with some kind of interest or offer or tried to see if you're available in the past this is about a new connection it feels very new it feels like a new start it feels like you know whatever happened before may be very minor to what they are hoping will happen now so it could have just been that they tried to talk to you before it could have been something as small as that but now they're looking for some kind of new connection isn't that beautiful party okay so we just talked about there could be social environment and danger so i feel like this danger is about going too quickly you know you need to let it just move at the right pace let it just unfold at the right pace i'm just going to collect these cards again hopefully i've got these the right way up okay yep i think i have and i just want to get maybe one more okay that's going to be it bliss it could be danger it could be bliss i like how the cards are the same color also they may be looking at you and saying pole three looks like they are in bliss pole three looks like they are super happy pole three looks totally um like they are just not really uh, looking for anything or 
unhappy in their world. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so let's have a look at these shadow love cards. They, no, they're called flower skulls, shadow love. Let's have a look. What we have got, what have we got from these? Guess this one gold digger in it for what they can get money hungry self-serving all right why are we getting that one coming up do you know um with this card up here this nine of pentacles and i was talking a moment ago that i feel like you are doing really well and that has come through a few times and of course there are all different sorts of ways that we can do really well in life not just financially but some of you may really be doing well career wise and maybe with this coming up as the page of pentacles it might not just be speaking about the pacing of them coming in and just slowly trying to grow this connection closer it maybe is also speaking about them not wanting to give an impression of they are not so much coming in as a gold digger that term you know but more as not wanting to come in because of where you're at or what you've achieved or you know because it would be um a really great thing to connect with someone who has done the things you've done or achieved what you've achieved so maybe there is something around that like letting things just evolve so it doesn't give off the impression that they're just drawn to you for the wrong reasons or something around that i don't get that um being them but i feel like the shadow maybe that's what they're thinking like looking at themselves and saying i see pile three and they have built something so maybe the two of you your paths took different turns and maybe their perception is that they are at page level and you are in this nine of pentacles energy and have this uh, little world that you have created around yourself so there could be something in that pile three let's keep going We'll just start. Actually, let's get one more. Not even sure how many I got for the others yesterday because yesterday feels like a million years ago. This is a funny thing. Um, sometimes funny little messages come through. We've got two more. Funny little messages come through, but I just got the word sandals. I don't know if the word sandal is in uh, someone's name or sa Sandy or if it sounded like sandals to me. And I'm pretty sure that it might mean a connection to sandals for someone, which is a funny thing. So there are all different types of sandals, but... Um, maybe that means something to someone. Just passing that one through. Okay, all right. I, there's a artist that I'm pretty sure their name is um, has that in their last name. Um, I will put the name of the song. Well, actually, I'll, I'll just say the song is called uh, Fade Into You, but I can't remember who it is. But I just got that the last name, it came back to me. So that, I'm pretty sure that's right. That may be relevant, that song. Maybe that is how they're feeling. Maybe that is how they're feeling. Okay. We have got Home. decisions and one more release wow okay so 
these three cards are really interesting together because they give a sense of this person feeling like the connection with you would feel very much like home to them. And I love that hot air balloon in there. Let me just grab my glasses down. It almost looks like it's lifting the house up, like that movie up. And we see the bird poking it out there and the other bird here. So I feel like there is a sense of almost um, a fantasy like this. And I don't mean a fantasy as in a negative way where someone is just an illusion and someone is not looking at it realistically. It feels to me like this would be like a dream to them. Like it feels so comfortable and like home and I noticed that the butterflies are in a pair and these birds are in a pair and these are in a pair actually no there's another butterfly here but it's over here separate yeah maybe some of you have become available after a period of being in a connection since they knew you they may have known you when you were in a connection but here we see decisions so choices to be made and what's written on the hands this way that way Looking in two directions. So they may be trying to make a decision about how to express this or just the pacing. I feel many of them are wanting to build connection with you before they express this. Like just get closer, build friendship, get on the same page, have agreement, that kind of feeling of the word agreement. And they may be making decisions around that, but it's about them seeing which way is this connection going to go, this way or that way? Like, will it happen or won't it happen? Because only through doing that will they get release, either release of carrying this torch and saying, okay, well, it's not going to work out. I really need to let this go. Maybe that's what they feel, that they will finally if you're not interested or if this doesn't go anywhere, they will know that, okay, pole three is now free. I've approached them. It didn't go anywhere. So now I have to let go or release in terms of the two of us are connecting. And now I am released from carrying this, you know, and carrying it and not doing anything with it. So it's like if they want the feeling, this feeling up here in this home card, this dreamy home card, then decisions have to be made both on their side and between the two of you eventually. You may make that decision yourself and say, look, I'm not interested in this, but then at least that leads to release. And that's what I feel that they're recognising, that doing nothing, no decisions being made by anyone to either express or try and build something or get on the same page or show that there are feelings there, doesn't even leave the door open for you to say yes or no. So there is no release. They just continue to carry these wands. And so that's what that looks like to me. Let's have a look here. Oh, I've done some interesting things here. I've mixed in one of these cards in there. Okay, let's get some message cards and then I'll get the charms out and we'll have a look. Some message cards from this person, please, Spirit. Show me some message cards. For those people who are here and resonating, I will contact you again, okay? So some of you may have already started to build a friendship or get closer to this person or something may have happened here. Soulmate card has come out. Take that one. Patience. And take this one. Pretending to be happy. There's two more here. I think about you constantly. And children, okay, so someone may have children um, or this could be some connection to childhood here. As I mentioned earlier, or did I mention that earlier? I said the past, but maybe some of you knew each other way back. Okay, so let's get some charms here. Now let's get some letters. 
Let's, I'm just going to grab a handful of these letters today. That's what I've been doing with the other piles. And I'll give them a shake. You may see your initials, a name. You may see their initials. You may see the initials of a place or a relevant uh, word. We've got F, F again, Y, Q, M, F, lots of Fs, <laughs> N, I, D, F, I, N, D, find, J, Y. Okay. All right, you may see some letters there that are relevant. I might just pull a couple more because we've got some double ups. We've got the doubles, we've got the triples of the Fs and we've got the doubles of the Ys. So let's just do a couple more for you. So you've got more to work with there. We've got another I, a W, a T, an X and an X. Okay, makes me think of the kisses that we put on the end of things sometimes with the XX. Okay, so... That's what I've got for you there. Let me grab some charms out for pile three. Right. So we've got a baseball. So someone might like baseball or play baseball. We've got love. We have got Aquarius. We've got this compass. See, there could be distance here or something about um, directions, going in different directions. A little heart there with the um, hole for the key. This one I always call the little um, truth um, dose, you know, the dose of the truth. So maybe there are some truths they may want to share with you. Something about the voice speaking up, speaking out. Someone may also have a very nice voice. Someone might be able to sing. There also could be something around um, expression of words like writing. Someone may be very good at expressing through words, whether spoken or written, even though that is a microphone. We've got the ghost here. So there could have been a period of time that you didn't see each other. We've got the um, little maple leaf, which reminds me of Canada. The PlayStation, so something around um, games or online games there. Hopefully the right kind of games, okay. Strong is beautiful. That reminds me of fitness and working out and um, being healthy and endurance as well, okay. And then we have got the graduation cap. I'm going to put that right there with um, children because it reminds me of when we graduate from um, childhood to adulthood. There may have been something around the early youth um, years, those early adult years. All right, that's what I've got for you, Pile 3. I do hope it was helpful and that there were messages there that um, resonated for you. I'm sending you lots of love. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.